Starting from Sas Pordoi, which is called the Terrace of Dolomiti, the plan of the day is a unique three-mile, four-hour trail that walks through the Dolomite Mountain Group, which was the bottom of the sea 300 million years ago. We first drive up from the Canazé village to Paso Pordoi Pass at 2,449 yards above sea level. There is a fairly large parking lot at the top of the hill. Sas Pordoi, 3,226 yards above sea level, viewed from Paso Pordoi at 2,449 yards above sea level. Maria Piaz, called Mother of Pordoi for her contribution to the development of Pordoi. This cable car was also built in 1962 at the initiative of Maria. We are overlooking the winding Strada delle Dolomiti we drove up. This cable car climbs 777 yards in four minutes. We can overlook Paso Sella at an altitude of 2,454 yards that crosses between Sasolungo and Sella Mountains. Now the cable car climbs the rock climbing path dedicated as Via Maria and arrives at the Maria Refuge, also named after her. Here we are at Sas Pordoi. When you get off the cable car and go out to the right, there is a terrace. Dolomiti's highest peak, Marmolada, is seen in the distance. The site of the glacial collapse on July 3, 2022 is also seen from here. Today we leave for Boe Refuge, the turning point of the homing trek. The Sas Pordoi Trail is like walking on an alien planet formed by an uplift of the ocean 300 million years ago. This is a unique course that walks through the all Dolomite mountain group. This Pordoi region belongs to the Sella group of mountains, and the peak on the opposite side is Pis Boe, the highest peak in the group at 3,447 yards above sea level. We now see the Forcella Pordoi Refuge. If you walk up from the Paso Pordoi cable car station, you will come up to this pass there are trekkers going down the steep and slippery gravel road to the valley in front of the refuge. Down there was a valley in the sea 300 million years ago. We follow Route AV2 towards Boe Refuge. In the distance, we can see the refuge at the top of the peak Pis Boe, and Boe Refuge is located at the back foot of the mountain. We take Route 627 down the road towards Boe Refuge. The path going up the mountain is Route 628, leading to the Peace Boe Refuge. If you want a tough schedule, this course is for you. We traverse the hillside where Dolomite has broken down. Looking around, all we see are barren rocky mountains and gravel roads. The lower route is equally difficult. We have to be careful as there are some ledge paths where we have to hold on to iron ropes.
The Peace Boe Refuge, looking up while walking on Route 627. It looks like being on an alien planet. Once again, we have to hold on to the iron rope and go down the road with the cliff under your feet. What does the mountain over that cliff look like? Though it comes in a glance, the mountain is a huge massive, more than one to two miles away from here. If we look closely, we can see people walking here and there in the Dolomite wilderness. Wouldn't there be a way over there? With some concerns, enlarging the scene, Surprisingly, we can find a glacier cave inside the rock where the sun does not shine. Looking up on the right, we pass the Peace Boe Refuge. Trekkers coming down from the peak are seen in the distance. Finally, the Boe Refuge comes in sight. Perhaps because this barren mountain was also covered with glaciers, we can see water flowing under the soil. Behind the Boe Refuge, there stretches the Sela mountain range, which had been under the sea 300 million years ago. Dolomites reflect white in sunlight. They are dazzling. The Sela group of mountains was formed of coral islands 300 million years ago. So these two areas show the stages of the deposition, erosion, cracking, and peeling of the rocks. Fossils, ammonites, and clams found in these areas attest to its history. Now, we're leaving Boy Refuge. We have to go by the stone tower along the way trekkers are coming down. and go back the way we came. When you return to Maria Refuge and pass down a little bit, there is a big window hole in the rock wall on the left next to the Iron Cross. It is also spectacular to look down on the winding road through it. There is an iron cross right below, and behind it is an alpine cliff.
we can see villages far below. They are Canaze and Campitello di Fasa. The Sasolungo Mountains are towering. Right opposite side is the beautiful 3,096-yard high Pis Chiavazes Mountain. There are people trying to wingsuit glide over these cliffs. They throw a tissue and measure the strength of the updraft blowing up from the bottom of the cliff. And check their gliding postures. Finally, jump! In an instant, they fell that far down. Not visible. This video is a real-time flow, but they are falling down far faster than thought. While flying, They deploy parachutes. I'm now relieved. As we walk through the vast Sela Mountains with all Dolomites, we today get the majestic scenery and energy.